Sable fur is among the most coveted of luxury fashion items in the world. The fur industry considers the sable's thick, silky soft fur superior over everything else. Its lush texture has made it possible for the fur industry to drive its value up to unreasonable heights, which doesn't really benefit the animals in any way. But it's important to recognize the fact that sables are amazingly adorable creatures. So when Moscow-based Zhenya stumbled upon a photo of a wild sable online, she fell in love and grew curious about this highly coveted creature. Zhenya's home country, Russia, has a high demand for sable fur. According to reports, around 70 fur farms in the country raise and ultimately kill these creatures for their pelts. For animals destined for luxury, various documentaries have revealed the bleak, depressing, and cruel conditions that they've lived through before being killed for their fur. Evidently, Zhenya's self-education about sables has revealed their grim fate to her. So, when she discovered that she could save one from such a fate, she took it. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. Eventually, I learned that there was an opportunity to buy her out from a fur farm. She would have died there, so I decided to save the little fella. After successfully saving the wild sable she saw online, the pair are now living happily together, but it took a lot of getting used to for the both of them. Initially, Zhenya had meant to rescue and release Umura back to the wild. However, her plan changed when she realized that Umura, having been raised on a farm, might not fare well in the wild, so she took her in instead. Umura has a difficult personality. Living on the fur farm really took a toll on her, so she's quite emotional, sometimes even a bit hysterical. Umura is also cheeky and likes to steal stuff. She's very active and smart as well. A documentary showed the reality of sables in Russian fur farms. The creatures are kept isolated from one another in wire mesh cages. There's so many of them, you know, jumping all over the place. The reporter noted upon entering one of the holding areas of the farm. They're cartwheeling, they're flipping, they're, they're bouncing about the cages. Um, they don't look that happy to me. The reporter added. Despite keeping one as a pet, Zhenya discourages the practice of trying to domesticate sables. One has to go through a lot before they can start living with it comfortably. It requires a lot of time and patience. It might even take a couple of years for you to begin to fully enjoy your life with it. Sables live in dense forests dominated by spruce, pine, larch, cedar, and birch. Their territories can range somewhere from 4 to 30 square kilometers in size, depending on the local terrain and food availability. But if they grow a bit tired of the forest, they can also move and live near riverbanks. These adorable and highly coveted creatures are master cliff climbers as well. They may look like miniature bears with wonderfully smooth fur, but make no mistake, they're wild. These creatures aren't meant to be a commodity or anyone's pet. It takes about 40 sable pelts to make one coat, which totally seems unjust and uncalled for. There are much better, more sustainable options to keep ourselves warm and fashionable. Sables look better in their fur than we ever will. So we commend Zhenya for her effort of saving not just one, but two from a dire fate. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.